Dr. A from History Surfer. I'm here in Natchez and I'm actually close to the sounding. Sorry, there's a weed whacker in the background. I'm trying to get away from it. Uh, I'm close to the founding spot for the Sip City as well as the territory. We are at one of the most important bends in the Mississippi River. It is where the French decided to build a fort. We're also in the back of a, uh, an estate that I am visiting. Um, but this is the spot that the French chose to build Fort Rosalie. And the house we visited was called Rosalie in honor of the fort. It was a pivotal spot on the Mississippi, which I'm walking up to, so you can see down. We're up on a really high bluff. So it was a perfect spot for the French. You can see here. It's been a really, I mean, it's a beautiful place. So I'll turn. In uh, 1716, the French built Fort Rosalie here and they controlled this part of the river and control of the Mississippi was what the French, and both the French and the British, the main colonizers of that period, and eventually the Spanish get involved too, won. And so with control here at this site at Fort Rosalie, and it's, well, from what the signage says, was a little bit further down from here, but it's pretty close. And you can see why they chose this spot. Walk out and talk a little more. The, uh, idea was to control this spot. They named the territory, the place Natchez, for the Natchez Indians who were here. Uh, of course, their relations with the native people, the Amer Indians, as historians say, was terrible. And by 1729, the Indians burned the fort down. Uh, the French came back and reinforced it. This was such an important spot they weren't willing to give it up. There's the house that was built in honor, well, named, I shouldn't say built in honor, named Rosalie in honor of the fort. But anyway, uh, it is, you know, one of the first, it evolves into the settlement of Natchez, and then eventually we have the territory of Mississippi. And so this is the starting, considered the starting point uh, it's a great place to visit, again, especially if you're a history nerd like me and you like architecture and history, come to Natchez. I highly recommend it. It's beautiful as well. There's a walking trail along the top of the bluff here. Right across from us on that bridge is Louisiana. So peace out, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later. Um, if you come to Natchez, look for these plaques. They're on street corners, and you'll usually find them, I'll show you, along what's called the Natchez Trail. And you can look at, there's a detailed map of where you are, and I'll show you what to look for. Here are these little blue things that say Natchez Trail. And these are all like historic sites on the Natchez Trail. And you can go to the visitor center and they'll show you like the information. It's pretty cool if you're a person like me who likes to walk around and look at architecture. In the corner of um, Washington and South Commerce Street. It's right here on the sign in front of me. But I wanted to do this, show this corner because here in front of you, you have the Jewish temple, B'nai Israel. And I don't think that people realize that after like the late 1840s, the Jewish population grew so large here, they became very influential. Um, in fact, I was just talking with one of the docents yesterday in one of the house museums I was in. On the opposite corner, I'm going to wait for a car to go by, is, and there it goes, the Episcopalian Church. It's the first Episcopalian Church in the state of Mississippi, and it's also the head of the diocese. Then you go right across the street from that. I'll walk over there. 
and you have this very very large affluent style house French Second Empire um, owned by Christian Schwartz and unlike uh, most of the people around here in the like early 18, 1820s, 30s, you don't have a plantation person building this. This is built by a merchant. The rise of the merchant class. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that roof. Mansard roof with that beautiful parapet. I mean, it's so decorative. It's just amazing. I'll show you the sign for the house. It was called Glen Auburn. We're on Franklin Street. We're walking up to go to breakfast. And I just wanted to give a shout out. It's Good Breakfast, Natchez Coffee Company. I'm coming up that way. This has got like a lot of little stores, this street on it. And it's right off Main Street. It's one street over, but they're one ways. So that one goes down to the water. This one comes up from the water. But you can see here, Natchez Coffee Company. I had a really good omelet there yesterday and they have this really crazy great bread and they also make green drinks. So if you're into it, here's a place to come in now.